Hello again, YouTube world. It's Keisha Simsima. That was my loss. That was my last YouTube name. It's A Keisha. Sorry, guys. Actually, no. So I'm going to tell you guys how God showed me the house, my dream house, and how he showed me my, uh, my dream house in a dream and how it came to pass. The first house that I was living in, I was considering moving. Like, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, if I wanted to sell or if I wanted to, to rent and consider moving. So it was something that I was really thinking about. It happened that I remember I dreamt that I, I dreamt that I lived into this huge house and it has so many windows and it has a big pool in the backyard. And we were living beside, and we were actually living beside a retirement home. And the retirement home was exactly beside our house. I could actually stand on the, like stand up where the pool is and look over to the re retirement home. And I remember I was telling, but I didn't really take the dream as anything really. I just thought it was a dream. And this was before I even know that this was my gift. So I dreamt, I dreamt that and I remember my cousin, I'm, I'm always dreaming stuff and sometimes it comes true, I should say. And I remember my sister, she always asks me like, whenever you dream stuff, let me know because she buy this thing. I, I guess she knows if you dream something, like for example, my dream about this house, there was a pool. So she asked me, was the, was the pool water clean? Was it dirty? So I said it was clean. And then she'll say, okay, that's, that's number four. So she'll go buy this thing, this, I don't know what it is, but I guess it's some gambling thing and then she'll go buy number four. But anyways, that's her thing, that's not mine. Um, but I remember telling her the dream and I remember she asking me, um, was the water dirty, was the water clean? And then I told her retirement and then she was like, okay, so that mean old people and this is number whatever. So she, so that's her way of interpreting dreams. But anyways, I remember having that dream and I said it to my fiance at the time that I have this dream. And then I'm like, probably it's a confirmation that we should be looking to move or, you know, probably something for us. Probably we should look and move in. So anyways, we bought a house and we rented that house. So we bought a house probably six months later and we rented the, the actual house, the first one that I actually bought. And we lived at the other house but honestly i'm telling you guys i was not happy i was not happy at that house i was miserable i was so miserable we still do that we still do have that house but i was just so miserable it's now rented also and i was so miserable guys I, the kids weren't happy i wasn't happy i wasn't happy at all it was just i don't know i, I just don't know but anyways I kept looking I'm like God I need another house I need a house and I just I prayed I remember just pouring out everything to God that I'm unhappy I, I just want, don't want to stay here if I could just rent somewhere you know he spoke to me and he said that I have a house I remember he said and that's when I started after I moved that's when I started to like tap into my spiritual side and just praying more and seeking God more and I remember going on on my knees because that's how because I feel like when he goes on your knees that's when you're more reverent to God and God will listen to you more that's that's just my thought and I remember praying and I went on my knees I'm like and I just pour, I'll pour everything to God and then I remember the scripture came to me that says um, I will never leave you neither will I forsake you and that morning when I got up I felt like a whole weight just lifted off my shoulder and and I remember he's him saying to me that he's gonna give me a house and then I started looking for something little, something small, just something that I can afford, just really small, you know, just something, just in case my fiance doesn't want it to come, then I can manage on my own. And I started looking. And anyways, we, um, the kids and I, the girls, we drove down, you guys probably hear the story already, but we drove down to this area, Mount Forest, and we came to Mount Forest and we saw this one else that I wanted to rebuild but it would have been so much more money to rebuild so I'm like and then the girls are like mom we really love this place it's, it's just really nice and I'm like yeah and then I go you know probably should look and see if there's any other houses up there but I the truth is I really wasn't 
I didn't really have to move and there was no intention of moving so quick. I saw this house, the one that I'm living in right now, and I'm like, God, and I put my hand on it, I claim it in the mighty name of Jesus. And then we bought it and we're living here now for about six months. And then the other day, my sister said to me, do you know, do you remember dream, dream, having a dream that, dream of, dreaming about that house that you live in? That dream with the pool and I'm like yeah and that was years ago that was probably I would say five years ago uh, when I dreamt I had that dream because we live at the other place for three years no I'm lying probably four years we live at the other place for three years and that was during that time I think it was six months later we bought so it's about almost four years the other day I was talking to, to my fiance about it and then we were laughing about it because we we're like and then he's like yeah I remember you dreamt about having this house, this huge house with so many windows, which is what we have right now. And you know, you dreamt also that it was beside a retirement home. This place is, a re the Mount Forest, is, there's pure, there's so many retirement homes in Mount Forest. There's mostly retired people that lives in Mount Forest. And then I'm like, Oh my gosh, you have been showing me this house before we bought the other one that I was miserable in and I did not see it until I started to get more in tune with God, to pray more, to build this relationship, to, you know, grow more with God. Then that's when I saw it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And, you know, God is good. And yeah, so, you know, my YouTube, I know it's going to be taken off because I will be sharing a lot of my vision, a lot of my dream, my discernment with you guys. So you guys can follow me along and see the goodness of God and see how God is using his young people. Yeah, I am young. See how he's been using us to prophesy his word and using us to reach the hearts and mind of people that doesn't know him. And using this platform so that people can get to know him and see other young people like myself. Yeah, I, I am young. See other young people like myself just you know this pushing and pushing and pushing for him. So yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month. And I hope you guys enjoy my video and have been enjoying my video. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and like. Give me some thumbs up, guys. I barely get any thumbs up. And share my videos with your family and friends so that they can see it. And give me some more views, guys. Yeah. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month. See you in my next video.